Hello friends, today we are going to read about enuresis. So in children under 3 years, it's normal to not have full bladder control. But as the child grow, become more able to control their bladder. When wetting happens in a child who is old enough to control his bladder, it's enuresis. So taking the topic, enuresis is normal nearly complete evacuation of bladder at a wrong place and time at least twice a month after five years of age. So it's important at a wrong place and time and after five years of age. Normally 85% of children die nocturnal control of bladder by five years of age. It develops in under five years uh, of children. It's not developed but after five years, children basically develop gyne nocturnal control of bladder. Coming to types, it can be primary, secondary, maybe diurnal or nocturnal. So primary, when child has never been dry, not fully mastered over toilet training. Secondary, dry for minimum period of six months, then bed wetting. Diurnal, when it occurs during daytime and nocturnal, when only at night. Monosymptomatic with no other symptom of LUTS, that means low urinary tract uh, symptoms. Now, monosymptomatic nocturnal enuresis without having any other symptom and only occurs at night, then it requires no further evaluation. Coming to etiology, it may be because of maturational delay but it spontaneously cures with increasing age so there is no risk and no tension there now anxiety when a child is suffered from any anxiety uh, during usually between uh, second to fifth year of age then there is an increased risk of developing enuresis other causes may be adhd constipation that puts pressure on the bladder not enough adh in the body during sleep as ADH maintains a circadian rhythm, so its lack can impair the response of kidney to ADH. When a child is in very deep sleep or may having a small bladder or overactive bladder or having a structural problem in urinary tract. Now coming to evaluation. It requires careful history of a case. Uh, it is primary or secondary, diurnal or nocturnal. Other family members having the same problem, how often the child urinates during the day, how much drinks in the evening, constipation, pain or burning while micturation, recent stress, physical examination for spinal anomalies, urine analysis usually for infections, proteinuria, glycosuria, and some additional tests like diagnostic and invasive procedures or USD or MCU, micturating cystic urethrography. Now coming to treatment, change in fluid intake, second to avoid caffeinated drinks, third is bladder training exercises at urinating on a schedule, night waking in a schedule by using some alarm devices. Usually first line of treatment is non-pharmacological motivational therapy or using by using alarm devices child is usually encouraged to keep voiding diary and maintain it or there may be some behavioral modifications is encouraged to achieve good bladder and bowel habit polyethylene glycol for stool softener as a, it is a stool softener so it can be used in a children who have constipations pharmacological therapy in spite of abo measures if in neurosis still persists when pharmacological therapy is needed, anticholinergics in children having significant daytime urge, oxybutynin at bedtime in more than 6 years of age child, lesmopressin works by reducing the volume of urine. Thank you.